Hey guys, just a quick video. Um, this is a quick little intro before the actual video starts. This is actually a video that I filmed two years ago for the 20th anniversary of Resident Evil 2. And um, this video originally went up on my second channel and nobody ever watches my second channel when it comes to small vlogs and stuff. So I figured since I'm putting all this Resident Evil content up right now, that I'm gonna put up a repurposed version of that video, maybe trim out some sections that were a little slow, and just put it up on the main channel for you guys to watch. I hope you enjoy it. I'm showing off some of my collection of my Resident Evil figures and basically gushing about how much I love Resident Evil 2 since it was the 20th anniversary. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this and uh, I'll be back again tomorrow for a new video on Resident Evil. All right guys, so today I thought I would do a video um, in commemoration of the Resident Evil 2 uh, 20th anniversary that happened a couple months ago or a month ago. I know I'm very late on this, but you know, I've got a lot of real life stuff to take care of, so I don't make videos all the time. But Resident Evil 2, I had to make a video for it because it is by far one of my favorite games from childhood and still is today one of my most favorite horror genre survival horror games that ever came out um, Resident Evil 2 if some of you didn't know yes it did come out on the Nintendo 64 I see comments on videos and pictures when I've posted uh, Resident Evil 2 on Nintendo 64 a lot of people didn't know it came out on 64 but yes it did in fact it actually took away a feature, uh, I think it was the battle mode feature uh, that was on the disc version of Resident Evil 2. But Resident Evil 2, like I said, one of my most favorite games when I was a kid growing up, and it's also one of my, is my favorite Resident Evil game that ever came out. Resident Evil 2 was the first Resident Evil that I started out on. It came out when I was in fourth or fifth grade, and I remember renting it from, well, I didn't rent it. I had my parents rent it from Blockbuster and played it on the PlayStation 1, and it was scary as shit. And I don't remember getting very far when I first rented it the first night. And I was all, I remember being scared of you know, I, I was super excited to play it, but at the same time, I was scared about going to bed because I knew I was probably going to have nightmares. But regardless, I played it anyway. And then, lo and behold, uh, my dad ended up going out and buying it on the Nintendo 64, and I played it non-stop. There was one summer, because my parents were divorced, there was one summer I spent the entire summer at my dad's house speedrunning Resident Evil 2. I played it all through all four different campaigns, both different scenarios. I had the game, at, in, in fourth or fifth grade, mind you, I had this game memorized like the back of my hand, and I could speed run it in under four hours. And that, for a fifth grader or fourth grader, that's pretty impressive if you ask me. My brother would sit and just watch me play this game over and over and over and over and over and getting all the different secret unlockables and all the different mini games and secret characters thus spawned me going into toy stores with my grandma and then I, all of a sudden I would start seeing Resident Evil 2 toys on shelves and my grandma was very anti uh, gore and horror movie stuff and she hated the fact that I played violent video games I think most grandmothers would feel that way but at the same time she would let me watch movies like Weekend at Bernie's which has to deal with sex and drugs and things like that I don't know if she really realized that but yeah Weekend at Bernie's was okay Doom not so much So, Palisades and Toy Biz made some of the coolest Resident Evil toys that ever came out. And, sure, there are a lot of nice-looking Resident Evil toys nowadays, but the classic Resident Evil toys that I have behind me in my collection from growing up are some of the most coolest toys I've seen since the Kenner Alien toys. 
Some of them are very detailed in the zombies, the Mr. X. The funny thing is when you look at these characters, the character models for the actual people, Claire and uh, Chris, Leon, Ashley, uh, and Ada Wong, they all look very strange in the face character models of the toys. I don't know why that is because all the other character models when it comes to the biohazards, the zombies, the Mr. X, the Tyrant, William Birkin, the Lickers, the Hunters, the Plant Monsters, they all look really, really well done. And it was almost like they had the most skill artists go in and do the monsters and then have the interns go and make all of the actual people. And I don't know why that is. If you can tell when you look at Leon's face, he looks kind of fucked up. The only one that I think actually looks uh, pretty spot on is the Jill Valentine character. And that's not even from Resident Evil 2, but they made toys for 1, 2, and 3. And I have most of them. I love Resident Evil 2 so much that I reviewed the game twice on my main channel Retro or Die. It was one of the original videos I did back in 2013 when the channel was still called Game by Night Reviews. And it was not a bad video in my opinion. The only thing that I had to change was the audio. The audio was fucked up. So I redid the entire review last year uh, during Halloween. And the video turned out pretty well. If you want to see it, um, you can find it in the description box and also on my main channel, Retro or Die. Not a bad review. Resident Evil 2 offers so much to the player that you don't see in normal modern games these days. Especially when it comes to the modern Resident Evil games these days. There was so much numerous hours of replayability in Resident Evil 2 that it blows away most modern games altogether without having to pay DLC prices, without having to worry about paywalls. Resident Evil 2 offers you as a consumer and a player so much to do that you can't complain that when this game came out that it was like 50 or $60 because the hours that I got out of it and how many years I've replayed this game over and over again it was worth every penny and it's one of those games that if you're a retro game collector and or if you just love Resident Evil as a series and you've only played it on emulation it is something I highly recommend you picking up and it's something that should not be forgotten and I personally am extremely excited for the Resident Evil 2 remaster that they are gonna do that Capcom's coming out with I did buy the remastered version of Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil 0 and I do I have to say they did a really good job with both of those because they didn't change the core mechanics of what made the game good it wasn't like they took it and they tried to make it in like the Resident Evil 5 engine which Resident Evil 5 was a, a, a giant piece of shit in my opinion and I skipped Resident Evil 6 altogether I just bought Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition today and I've been playing I'm two hours into it so far and so far nothing speaks Resident Evil to me I see a lot of things that remind me of Evil Dead Texas Chainsaw Massacre Blair Witch Project and a bunch of other horror movies thrown together into one thing but somehow branded Resident Evil oh shit <laughs> this is awesome Oh, Leatherface got him. This is this is pretty cool. It, it's not Resident Evil at all, but it's it's freaking cool. Now, I'm not that far into it, but we'll see how it goes. I kind of have a prediction of what's going to happen. Um, don't be an asshole and put spoilers in my comment section, please. But my prediction for Resident Evil 7 is that this is either... Uh, some mid story between Resident Evil uh, 1 and 2 and I'm in the Arclane, Arclane Mountains or whatever because I don't really know what state I didn't even do the research to see what state uh, Raccoon City was in but that's neither here or there fuck that um, 
But anyway, Resident Evil 2 by Capcom, one of the greatest video games, survival horror games to ever come out. There are many games that have tried to re uh, copy this game's style altogether. Evil Dead did it, Parasite Eve did it, Dino Crisis did it. But I have to say, Resident Evil 2 still today holds the highest bar of clout when it comes to survival horror. And like I said, it does deserve this remaster that it's getting. And I hope Resident Evil 3 gets it as well. Resident Evil 2 and Code Veronica X are my two favorite Resident Evil games in the entire franchise, hands down. Resident Evil 3 is obviously my third favorite. But uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Is Resident Evil 2 um, one of your favorite games? Does it deserve the remaster? Do you guys think that Code Veronica X or Resident Evil 3 is going to get the remaster? I think it should. And um, also let me know what you guys thought about the Resident Evil Outbreak series that were supposed to happen in between Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. Uh, they weren't that fun of games to me because who's going to pay the internet prices that you had to pay back then to play with people online? I certainly wasn't because I was only in like middle school or high school when those came out and I was not going to pay for that. Anyway guys, uh, let me know what you thought about Resident Evil 2, your favorite part from Resident Evil 2, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.